Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to conduct a spell check. The resume used in this tutorial can be found at the following link. Conducting spell checks are extremely important before sending out your resume to prospective employers, as it can look very unprofessional to have spelling errors or grammatical errors in your resume. Microsoft Word makes it very easy to correct your spelling and grammatical mistakes. You have the option of Word informing you of your errors while typing. To make sure that option is turned on, go to File, Options, select Proofing, and make sure these four options are selected. That will allow you to see your mistakes as you're typing and it's much easier to correct it. For example, if I edit Assistant, as soon as I leave the word, there is a red wavy underline to indicate there is a spelling error. To correct it, you can right-click on the word, and Microsoft Word gives you some suggestions. You can select the correct one, and that replaces the word with the correct spelling. Similarly, with grammatical errors, you'll see a green wavy underline like here. This should be served as an associate on an interdisciplinary. Once you correct it, the wavy underline disappears. The other way you can check is by checking the whole document. Let's add a few errors. Then you can go to the Review tab and click on Spelling and Grammar. Here it gives you some options to replace the word and the wrong word is highlighted. So you can select the right word and click on Change. Then Word moves on to the next word with an error. Like this, you can go ahead and fix all the spelling errors. Once it's done, it gives you a message that spelling and grammar check is complete. Then just click OK. Now you should also be mindful of the language that you're using. For example, British English and American English have different spellings for certain words. So if you're sending a resume to a British employer, it may be better to spell the words with the British English spellings. I'll show you how to do that. First, you have to change the document to use British English for this document. The way you can do that is to select all the text, go to Language, and here you can set Proofing Language. Note that here it says Mark Selected Text As. So it doesn't apply to the whole document automatically it only applies to the selected text. That's why we selected all the text in the document. So here we can update this to United Kingdom, and here we can click OK. Now if you notice, there is a spelling error shown for pediatric, hematology, and center. In British English, center is spelled C-E-N-T-R-E. When you right-click on that word, that's the option it gives you. We can update that. Hematology is spelled with an H-A-E, so we can fix that one, as well as pediatric. Now, there are some words that may show up as an error, but they're not actually errors. For example, here, Northeastern is part of the university name. It's not really a spelling error. There are two ways to deal with that. If it's a word you're going to use often, you can add it to the dictionary. Or you can just select Ignore All. In this case, let's select Ignore All. Now that indication of the spelling error has gone. So those are some basic tools on how to use spelling and grammar checks in Microsoft Word. Thank you.